Good morning, everyone. I'm Dr. Sanjeev Khanna, and I'm the founder CEO of uh, Academy for Self Maximization, Private Limited, in which basically we share the Ikigai philosophy primarily. Ikigai philosophy, as some of you must be knowing, is a Japanese philosophy which helps people find their purpose of life. In today's world, strangely and shockingly, almost 80% uh, people globally are not able to lead a life of purpose. 80% people globally are not able to lead a life of purpose. That means what? That means whatever they get into, they start believing that this is my destiny and that is what they accept and that is how they live their life. What everyone needs to understand that you need to basically build your life based on three pillars, purpose, passion and potential, purpose, passion and potential. Now, we don't know how to find our purpose, most of us. Some people like maybe some star celebrities, film actors, sportsmen, business tycoons, they have realized their purpose very early in their lives and that is why they are there. But for most of us, we need to follow our passion. When we follow our passion, that passion takes us to our purpose of life. And when we follow our passion, we realize that why that is within us as a passion because you are having innate potential for that. So you already have those qualities within you and you start working on it and that is how you are able to realize your full potential. You are able to realize your purpose of life and that is how you become someone who can achieve the status of self-maximization within you. So everyone will not become a top industrialist, a top cricketer, a top politician, but we all have our own unique value proposition which nature has given, which universe has given us and we have to live with that. So important is follow your passion, find your purpose and live up to your potential which is your natural strength. And of course in the process we will be able to reach the state of self-maximization. That's point number one. Point number two is that always be a lifelong learner. Be a lifelong learner because life never stops teaching so we should never stop learning. And we should be our own self, be yourself. When you are your own self, realize that the original always values more than the copy. So we have to believe in our own self and that's how we have to live a life. So be yourself, be a lifelong learner and very importantly, be a good human being and a responsible citizen of the country. When we do it, life becomes easy life becomes seamless. You are able to get more satisfaction and more happiness out of it. And number three, number three is that believe in yourself, trust others and have faith in the universal energies. Now when I say that believe in yourself, I think everyone can relate with it. Trust others because in today's world, trust is lacking. We don't trust people and that is why we always live in ambiguity, confusion, doubt, negativity. To get out of it is very important that we live a life where we trust others and always believe and always understand that still, even if you believe in yourself, even if you trust others, life will always not go the way we want it. And that is where it becomes very important that we have faith in the universal energies. Because if nothing else works, we must believe that if things are not going as per my plan, but things are going as per the universal plan, which will always be better than my plan, All right? Now, with this background, I will just tell you that I am Sanjeev Khanna, as I said, I studied in Eastern UP, I started my schooling from there, and I was an average student, uh, used to get 60-70% marks, uh, but that used to be good at that point of time, because today everyone gets 95, 98, 99 and even 100% marks, so things have changed. Now, f coming from a very humble background, social background and from the education perspective also from a Hindi medium school in the Eastern UP, I had lot of 
negativity, depression, introvert. I was an introvert. I was not able to speak to people. I was not able to come out to the world as I was because always I had doubt about myself. I always believed that people around me are better than me because till then I had not been able to realize my purpose. If you all remember the story of Kishkinda Khan in uh, uh, Ramayana, you will know that uh, there was uh, Jamwan who made Hanuman, Lord Hanuman realize his strengths and then he was able to cross the sea and reach Sri Lanka for the rescue of Sita. Now, if you really connect with that, it is the realization of the purpose which is within you but you are not able to realize. The same happened with me in one of the Kabaddi match at that point of time in the school. I was pushed into it. I was not able to uh, do anything really significant out there because neither I was going to the opposition nor I was trying to touch anyone who is coming from that side. But what happened finally? Finally, I was the only one left on my side. And at that point of time, when the whole school was looking at me, I just thought that in case now the other person comes from that side, the other boy comes from that side, and who happened to be one of the strongest boy in the school and the captain of the opposition team, that it will be very embarrassing for me that he comes and probably I could see in his eyes that he will come and he will just lift me and take me to his side. I thought it will be very embarrassing and at that point of time I don't know what happened to me but I just pinned him down on the floor the moment he came to my side and I ensured that he was not able to get up. And it happened. I was the same and the person on the other side was the same but it's still the life change. So that means the moment we realize our potential, then the life is unlimited. So again, I will repeat that be yourself, be a good human being, be a responsible citizen of the country and be a lifelong learner. So thank you very much and God bless all. Thank you.